Thanks for tuning in at Brackies. Hello everyone and welcome to video number 6 in Make a Game, a short series on making a cool little video game in Unity. In this one we are going to take a look at quality settings or render settings inside of Unity. Those two are often confused so I'm just going to clear that up. And uh, we're going to talk about stuff like anti-aliasing and uh, uh, how many lights you can have in your scene and just overall the adjusting the quality of our game. So let's delve right into it. Actually, before we do, I just have a very short sneak peek into the game I'm developing at the moment called Squixel. And this is just a wallpaper I made for it. You haven't seen anything yet and it's not coming soon uh, in an alpha version to PC and Mac and it's not called Squixel. So let's continue with the video here. So um, first off, let's open up Unity as always. And to get to the quality settings, go to Edit, Project Settings and go to Quality. And uh, this is basically how advanced you want the graphics to be for your game. And if you're making a, a, a game that you're serious about, you really want the player to be able to select how good of a quality uh, the graphics should be so that if they're on a computer who can't handle that much, uh, they can change uh, change it up to make it uh, run better on the, on the hardware. So... Unity have made a really, really nice system for us to, to adjust this. And uh, they use what is called levels. And basically you can add some yourself and call them whatever you want. But these are quality levels that you can switch between and you can standardize on different platforms and make available on different platforms so that once you release the game to a lot of platforms, the users will be able to choose their quality. Um, and uh, let's just take a look at the prefabs they set up by default. Let's select the fastest one. We can see now we don't have any shadows and uh, the, the anti-aliasing uh, is completely off. No an anisotropic textures and the texture quality is, is horrible. All of this is just turned off. And if we go to fantastic, we can see some much more smooth edges. Still not that incredible. Uh, we can see some detailed shadows and, and such. So... It, it changes up the, the way uh, the graphics are rendered. And, uh, and this is not that visible in our game because we don't have that many graphics in there. But once you start to get more, it becomes very visible. But basically, I think there are way too many levels for our game. So let's delete. Uh, let's delete, delete fast. Let's delete simple. And let's delete... Beautiful. So we have fast, good, and we have fantastic. And uh, let's rename the fastest to, let's rename this to um, fast uh, or low quality. Let's just say low quality. And let's adjust the settings here. So basically, this is going to run on the uh, lowest quality devices. And uh, Pixel light count is how many lights can be shown on one object. And uh, this is actually not that taxing on the computer. You can easily increase this to at least 10 on, um, on a, a older desktop computer. If you're on mobile devices, you have to be a lot more careful. Uh, then I would lower it by quite a bit. But definitely for computers you can always stay above 10. Uh, the texture quality let's make that half resolution and also uh, an, an isotropic textures let's make that per texture and the aliasing let's say that's completely disabled. Soft particles is something that we will just keep off. Shadows I think we should enable shadows since they add quite a lot to the game let's make hard shadows only and they should be medium resolution actually let's do low resolution this is really up to you and it depends completely on how much you have in the scene uh, because our level is so simple we could easily bump this up but i'm just going to assume that you have made more than what i have here 
Uh, so, okay, so the low resolution, stable fit is fine, no cascades, and the shadow distance, let's increase that to 30. Uh, and uh, that's basically how far away you need, or how close you need to be to the subject before the shadow shows. Uh, the resolution is how uh, edgy the shadow looks. So if we turn on the light here, you can see here there are some jagged edges uh, that is removed by increasing the resolution. And hard and sh uh, soft shadows, um, that's not something you need to worry about if you have the free version of Unity. Now let's go back into the quality settings here and let's adjust the second layer. Let's call this medium quality. Not all these fancy terms. And let's increase the light here to 50. And that's way more than you're going to need, but that's okay. Uh, we could also do 30 just to make it more realistic. Uh, the texture quality, now we want it to be full resolution. We want this to be per texture still. And to aliasing, I think we can easily bump that to at least two, um, maybe even four. Uh, the shadows, both hard and soft shadows, definitely, and medium resolution, you could do high. Uh, I'm just going to stick to medium. And fantastic, that's when we get to bump it up quite a lot. So let's make this uh, high quality. And uh, the pixel light count could be 100. Uh, texture quality, full resolution, forced on, anti-aliasing, bump that up to 8, soft particles are fine, uh, the high resolution, very high resolution shadows, and uh, that all looks really great. What you can do is add a, um, make this a little less expensive on the hardware and then make an ultimate quality or a fantastic quality. Uh, because there are there is quite a gap between medium and high quality, um, but it's it's really it doesn't make that great of a difference. But whenever we play tests, you normally want to be in the highest quality so you can get all the detail right, and then later play test in low quality uh, settings. And if you're 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 lag spiking or something because you both have to run Unity and the player, uh, you can bump it down to something like medium. But that was basically it for the quality tab. Uh, I also mended, mentioned the render settings, and uh, these are often confused. You get to them by going to edit, render settings, and now you can see we have been here before in one of the previous videos. We adjust light, the ambient light, uh, how we liked it, and that's done under the render settings. Whoops, I jumped out there. And this is where you can add stuff like fog. You can change a default um, sky boxes, default textures of different kinds, uh, flares and halo. You really don't need to tweak that uh, this that much in in an audience, ordinary game. You might add some fog, not in 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 our game yet at least. Um, and you might add a default sky box material, but. Really, you should just leave this be. Ambient light, though, is, is very important, and, and you should definitely have a look at how you want the ambient light to be. Uh, cool, and one thing to mention, uh, the render settings are scene-oriented, uh, so if I make a new scene uh, and I want some fog in there, I can just turn that on and the old scene will still have it disabled, whereas the quality settings are for the whole game. Uh, Cool, so now let's make some defaults uh, on our different levels. So let's just assume that we're going to run this as a standalone. That means um, that you build it for PC and Mac. And uh, let's set the uh, default level here by pressing the arrow beneath the arrow, which means standalone. And let's change this to high quality. So now that's going to be selected by default. And uh, let's see the phone here. Uh, that must be an iPhone. Let's change that to low quality. The same with the Android phone. Let's change that to low. The BlackBerry, definitely low. Uh, Windows Store apps, that depends on where they're displayed. Let's say medium. Uh, the WP8, uh, the Windows Phone 8, low quality. And uh, that one, that must be the... Ooh, uh, ooh, yeah. Uh, don't know that much about its hardware. I'm not. I don't think you're going to be publishing to that. But uh, let's just bump that up to high. And then for the web player, let's make that medium quality by default. 
and uh, oh they follow along oh it, they're both web right so let's just make that a medium quality and that was pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.